Um, here, I'll do this. These are the English ones, if you want to watch these. There's part one, there's part two, there's part three. I'd show them, but they're uh, about, it'd be about 10 minutes long total, so I just didn't want to go through the whole thing right now. He spoke in English. It was kind of like slurred English, but he spoke very understandably English. And yes, guys, I found a shop of this. It was hidden in a small little area in Akihabara, in Aki, Akihabara, but it existed. There is a fucking 2chan shop. Yeah. I was completely blown away when I saw this. I could not believe this fucking existed. So, in Japan, in Japan apparently they call him Safety Bear. So, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't really have any words for this. And so here's the zoomed out list. You can see here's all the caricatures. The fucking, yeah. 2chan was like the original 4chan, yeah. 4chan is based off uh, 2chan. And so, uh, did I take any more pictures of it? Oh, yeah, okay, I did. So I don't know what this is for, um, but here's more of it, obviously. And uh, here he's telling him something. Let me see if I can remember what this is. It says, no idea what the fuck that says. It says, oh, susu, me, maji, fucking magic dick. Uh... So yeah, you I could buy it. I think Andrew bought some of it, but I don't think I bought any of it. And this, now here's the interesting thing. This was here, right? And this is like a little, like, you see this? This is like the way you get into it. Wait, hold on. Like, this is the way you get into it. It's like this little tiny fucking stairwell, right? Literally right outside of this, like right off to the right here, was this. This guy's selling meat on a big fucking ass roast thingy. This was literally right side of This thing is huge. This is like the size. This is at least like about two feet, three feet, something like that. It's a lot bigger than it looks. And he's just selling that right outside that place. So I don't really understand that. Uh, here's an example of the electrical wiring just sitting out in the open that pretty much people just like eat if they wanted. And here's more examples of it just sitting there. Basically, if this happened in America, people would like shit their pants. Uh, this was up at Mount Fuji. Like, we were by it, and so they have all these little, like, toys there, and I take a bunch of pictures of toys. Uh, little cat doll toy thingies. So those are pretty cute looking. And it um, says, uh, what does that say? It says, Zubuto. It either says Zabuto or Zubuto. I think it's Zabuto, yeah. Zabuto... I don't know what the fuck the rest of it says, but it says big. There you go. It says Zabutu Big Cat. There you go. Um, there's a close-up of it and stuff like that. Um, I'm sure some of you probably know what this is. This is that fucking toy where you spin it back and forth and the ball lands in the little cup. and You know what I mean? Okay, so they had a bunch of those. Because a lot of like you know kids and stuff like that come here with their families. It's like a tour guide trip, you know? So fucking they got to have something like that. Now this was pretty cool. I actually think I bought one of these. Uh, I think I might have this somewhere still, but it's a little candy box or whatever, and it's little Mount Fujis. So you have a female one too. You have a girl one and a guy one. But uh, I actually can't remember if this is candy or if it's something else. But it says strawberry, and I can't remember what this is exactly. But yeah, but yeah, it's pretty much Mount Fuji putty, and. Uh, yeah, it's candy. It's saying chocolate crunch. It's saying chocolate crunch. <laughs> so it's fucking candy. And same for this one. Uh, but this is strawberry flavored. Man, they like making different flavored chocolates there. They really fucking love different flavored chocolates, man. They love... Uh, they, have, they have Kit Kat bars there in like 15 different flavors. They have like Kit Kat bars there, like strawberry Kit Kat, vanilla Kit Kat, green tea Kit Kat... Uh, fucking lemon Kit Kat. They have like all these ridiculous ass flavors there, and they're so fucking good. And they only make them in Japan. I don't even know what this is. I don't think I want to know. No fucking litter here. Do not litter, or I will kill you. There is no trash box in the facilities. Please take all garbage back with you. Fuck off. That's basically what this is saying. Oh yeah, remember earlier, way earlier, when I had that picture of the dog? I was talking about the dog parks. 
Well, here's one. Ex here's an advertisement for one. It's a fucking place where you just go and pet dogs, and you can go play with dogs because it's really hard to own a dog in Japan because of the limited space. So that's what I was talking about earlier. Um, I don't know what this is, but it looks pretty epic. Uh, it's got uh, gawked in it, which basically is like the fucking Japanese version of like Michael Jackson. So yeah, pretty much everybody like flips their shit over him. And uh, later, Muse Cobbliss. Uh, not that I know of. Not any video game based movies in Japan. There's some good movies in Japan, but uh, not any video game based ones that I know of off the top of my head. Um, so here's like an outer view of the gift shop, stuff like that. I know what it is. I've heard of the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, but that's all I know. I just know the name of it, and that's, that's all I know. I forgot what the hell this is. But I know it's like a really widely eaten food, and I forget what the fuck these are. It's like it's a dried, it's a dried form of something. I forgot what these are. Oh yeah, here's basically toys up the ass. So you know, here's the gigantic plushy Mount Fuji. Here's the other ones. These little things are a little like pop up clackers. They like pop up and stuff like that. So there's basically a million of these. I think I got a close up. There's those ones close up. Uh, there's the little toy there. And I think yeah, and I actually have this one in my room. I do have this. I bought this and took it home, so I have one of those. Um, I did not buy a lighter because I don't smoke and because they say don't try these lighters or you will burn the whole fucking place down. Don't try these fucking lighters. Please do not out of the... So we're walking out here and as we go out, it's this area. This huge fucking gigantic area where there was like four buses and shit like that. And, yeah, so there's all the fucking buses, like, lined up. Later, Gamert. And so, as we're going out here, um, I did not go to the dog park, no. There is, yeah, there's, like, buses up the ass, so there, we weren't the only tour group there. There was other tour groups that were going up on this, and I guess we all kind of just met up there or whatever. And so, um, as we're going here, it starts to get foggier as we get closer to Mount Fuji. And here's more of the rural areas. This is more like the rural areas and stuff like that. You got like farmland, fucking stuff like that. I'm pretty sure I got a picture of the. Oh yeah, here's how you use the squatting toilets, by the way, for anybody who was wondering. And there's one of them being used. Well, I just peed in it. I didn't crap in it, so fuck that. So uh, yeah. And this guy I thought was real at first, and it kind of creeped me out. Um, this toilet is the Japanese style toilet where you squat over it, just like this shows. Come on, what the hell? Where you just squat over it, and you stand up in place, and then that's how you shit in it. And this is actually better for the human circulatory system to stand and squat like that and shit. It actually helps the shit get out better, and it uh, is less pressure on your legs and stuff like that. But the disadvantage is, is if you have explosive shits or diarrhea, you are going to get it on your fucking pants. Unless you take your pants completely off, and even then you might get it on your feet. So that's kind of bad. So there's disadvantages and advantages to that, so you know. Um, so yeah, that kind of freaked me out when I first saw it. Later, Raven Sunk. Uh, and for everybody leaving and stuff like that, this is going to be archived on JTV, so you can go back and watch this if you want. Um, these are little somethings. I don't know what the fuck these are, little frogs. And these are little fox things in like every fucking color possible. Uh, let me see how many more I have left. Image 3940, how much do I have left? Okay, let's put it this way. Here's how many I have left. I might save some of these for the next time, but image 3940 is right here, and I have this many more left. And this is just from the 2007 trip. This isn't counting the video or the pictures from the 2005 trip. Uh, this is sponges you use for your body. This is a big fucking pot that was cooking soup in it. And this is a bunch of people that were on top of the mountain. Oh, switches. It's because my, uh, my throat telesaur... So I'm actually, uh, as odd as this sounds, my throat's really sore. And so my body's kind of moving like liquid there to try and like, I don't know, like heal the area or whatever. And so it's kind of getting me congested and it's like blocking my airway. So I actually have to like do that to get it out of the airway, so to speak. Yeah, we went to Japan just for educa or education, just for a vacation. But there wasn't really many Pokemon ads there. Not really. You'd be surprised. Evangelion was the biggest thing. Evangelion had a lot of advertisements, especially in pachinko parlors. There was a lot. I did, on this trip, I didn't meet many interesting people. But on the 2005 trip, I did meet a lot of interesting people. I actually stayed the night in a club underground 
in uh, Shibuya and with a bunch of people I'd only met that night. And so it was pretty fucking interesting, actually. Um, in fact, hold on. What the fuck's the problem? Later, Nick J109. In fact, in this video, so up to that point within a game, then through it. Which, if you haven't seen this, you should just watch this because I just this think it's a fucking. That you'd be while it's one of my best videos as far as design goes. The By the way, if you've seen this Fears video, um, my face is in this like five times. So, this doesn't actually scare me because I designed games. it. Games. If I saw it and somebody it. else so designed it, it probably would freak me out a little bit. <clears throat> now, shot an hour okay, yeah, this video right here. Now, this I'm part right here. Though. Shut the fuck up, Diz. This video right here is actually in an underground club, and that's where I took this at, was the Tokyo one. Was this. So this is actually a bunch of people dancing underground that club and shit like that, and that's where this is from. The weird thing is, is I took this video years ago, back in 2005, and when I made this video was the first time I noticed the fucking scream mask sitting on the table. That is the first time I noticed this. When I made this video, five, no, six years later. I did not notice that. And then immediately right after that, you see my face. Well, I'm just like, how you doing? That's also in Tokyo. Many of the clips in this are from Tokyo. This is from Tokyo. If you want actually, that's from Tokyo also. If you want actually, probably a better one would be this. Later, Calamitous123. There. That's actually a better video because it doesn't have my speech in it. And so you can just watch the video. But most of the stuff in that is actually from Tokyo. These are a bunch of rocks of different colors. So you can have rocks till you got cocks. And here's Gojira. He's eating a fucking mountain. And here are a bunch of little things. I'm not really sure what these are, but they're things. And there's eggs. And uh, quartz, I believe, is what that is. And a bunch of other rocks and minerals, stuff like that. Well, Oreo, I haven't streamed prior to yesterday. Yesterday was the first time I'd streamed in, like, weeks, and then before that, months. So, like, I'm probably not going to stream, like, this long for a while or anything like that. But, you know, I just wanted to kind of make up for lost time. Uh, not that I know of. It's just kind of like, I don't know, like how we have our monster stories and stuff like that. Gojira is kind of the same thing. Just a big fucking lizard that got mutated. Um, I'm buying... No, I don't think I'm buying anything here. I think uh, Andrew is buying this stuff. This is... Uh, I forgot what this is. I think this is squid. I think this is squid. Um, this is udon, which doesn't really look like it. It just kind of looks like crap because it's plastic. This is what gyudon should look like, except since it's plastic, it kind of looks disgusting, but that's kind of the generalized idea of what it looks like. Later, Timothy Simmers. Summers, I'm not really sure which. And pancakes. And, oh man, I love this. In Japan, like, you know how we have, like, strawberry smoothies, uh, fucking vanilla smoothies, all that stuff or whatever? In Japan, they have smoothies of fruits, but they do them for totally different flavors. They have, like, lime uh, juices. They have, like, live ju or live lime. They have lime juices, grape juices, plum juices, pear juices. And, like, you never fucking see that in America. And it's, like, so good. I did not go to any hibachi places, actually. I do like pancakes. This is actually where you order your food. Many of the fast food places have an ordering menu like this, which is so fucking smart, and this is how it should be everywhere, because this means that nobody will ever fuck up your order again. You put in exactly what your order is, you put in the money, it prints out a ticket. You give the ticket to the person making food. Done. You cannot fuck up your orders that way. These are just potato chips I found. They're basically like Pringles. So, fucking Pringles chips. Uh, I was eating them there. Uh, this is the place we were sitting at and eating. Kind of nice stuff like that. Uh, this is the menu. These are all uh, snow cones, I believe. Uh, like, this says lemon. This says uh, strawberry, Ichigo. And then ramen for lemon. And then melon, which is, I don't know what the fuck the melon is. I guess melon. And then azuki. Uh, I forgot what that is. I forgot what azuki is. Oh, it's red bean. Yeah, so that's red bean... Uh, Red bean is a type of special holiday fucking type uh, vacation type thing, I guess they have like for candy there.